Hello everyone, it's Elta, welcome back to a brand new video. This one is going to be my long-awaited Q&A that I should post three days ago. <laughs> but you have no idea how much trouble I've been through to get this video exported because I've filmed this eight times and there we go. <laughs> Alright, without further ado with my mishaps with my editor, let's get right into your questions. Alright. So your the first your question. <laughs> so your the first question is from Trix Diaz. They ask, where do you come from? I'm actually from a country called Greece. Uh, the next question from the same user uh, is, at the start, where do you think your channel was going, and did you did you know your channel was going to get so big? Actually, no. I did not expect to get that many subscribers. I was pleasantly surprised and super happy that I was able to be a part of this. I'm happy that my passion of creating and being awkward <laughs> uh, is actually liked by some people. So thank you so much about this. The next question is from Costas to Balbi, who asks me how old I am. I'm actually almost 18 at my senior year in high school. It's not easy. <laughs> Um, the next questions are from Piper de la Prime, who asks, are you happy with your channel? I'm extremely happy with my channel. Uh, I don't know how to, I can elaborate on that, but I just love my channel. Um, they also ask me, when will you make the Miraculous Box? So this is something I really wanted to talk about. The Miraculous Box is something that I really, really want to make. I don't want to make the version of the box like the classic version. I want to make the new version that's like spoilers, <laughs> that's the version that Marinette gets after she becomes the new guardian of the Miraculous. So that's something that I want to create, uh, and the reason I'm doing the classic one is because there are already videos on YouTube on how to make this, and I do not think that I could add anything important. If I, if I come up with an idea that makes the box easier or more sufficient or, you know, faster, I will definitely make the video. And if I'll make it, yes, I'll make the box and I will be making it around summer. Because right now, since I'm in high school, my time and my budget are very limited. So that's why I'm not able to create big projects such as the Miraculous Box. Next question. <laughs> Next question comes from Poppy Durant. Uh, from now on, we're going to be going into more Miraculous related uh, questions. They asked me, what is the sad thing in Miraculous Season 3? So, spoilers here, spoiler warning, I'm gonna spoil Char Blanc for you. Because that's where my saddest point is in the series. So the sad point for me was when Gabriel was so cruel to Adrian after he found out he was Chat Noir in this alternate timeline. I was heartbroken seeing Adrian so sad and treated so horribly like she literally hit him. So that was the sad point for me in Miracle Season 3. Moving on to the next questions. Uh, we have a few questions from Mohamed Alamedine, and also I'm really sorry if I butchered any of your names, guys. Super sorry, but I don't know how to pronounce everything. Alright, so they ask, what made you want to make Miraculous DIYs? So, the plain reason that I started making the Miraculous DIYs was purely frustration that I couldn't find tutorials on how to make the Miraculous. I, I wanted to make all the Miraculous as well, so I was looking for tutorials on YouTube. And when I couldn't find anything for like the pig, the ox, and etc, etc, like the dog, I could only find uh, tutorials for the ladybug earrings and the cat noir ring primarily. Um, so I was like, no, I'm doing my own thing. And I made the tutorials. I wanted to help everyone so they would not be as frustrated as I was when I figured out there weren't any tutorials on YouTube. <laughs> so they also asked me when and how did I discover Miraculous. I actually discovered Miraculous uh, years ago when it was first starting coming out and coming out on YouTube uh, I don't remember the year because I lose track of time very easily <laughs> uh, but um, I actually did not figure it out from an episode or even like an analysis video I figured Miraculous out from an AMV of a song <laughs> I was like listening to songs and an AMV pops up of a song that I really liked so I was I clicked on it and I saw Marinette and Adrian and they were so cute and I was like Yes, I want to know more about this series, so I looked it up and I got hooked. The first uh, episode that I watched was actually Stormy Weather. I didn't understand anything at first, and I was like, what's going on? How did they get their powers? What's going on? 
and it was before the audience episode even have had aired uh, so I had to wait a lot to figure out some stuff <laughs> but I love it so much and I would not change Miraculous for anything honestly one of my favorite shows of all time <laughs> The next question from the same person is which Miraculous is your favorite, which hero is your favorite, and which character, non normal, not a hero, is your favorite? Alright, so these are three questions and I'm going to be answering all of them. My favorite Miraculous, I actually struggled figuring it out because I like many Miraculouses. But if I really had to choose one, it would be the Fox Miraculous because that's my personal favorite. I love the power of illusion. I think playing with the mind and all that stuff is really interesting. Second favorite would definitely be the Peacock Miraculous, which was actually the first tutorial that I posted on YouTube. And third would be the Dragon. These are my top three Miraculouses. <laughs> As for my favorite hero, that's a no-brainer. That's Chat Noir. I love him. He's so cute. He's a little kitty. <laughs> uh, and yeah, he's my favorite. Love his puns. Love his attitude. Uh, my favorite normal character, I would say, is definitely Olia. She is very, she's a, she's a generalist, she's very curious, she's like always looking why and why and why and how is the origin of Miraculous, and that reminds me of myself because I am very intuitive as well, like I want to learn the most that I can. So relate to her, love her, she's my favorite character that's not a superhero. These were all your guys' questions. Thank you so much for being here and asking them. Now I'll be talking to you about the next videos on my channel and summing up what I'm going to be posting for the next few months. So, first of all, I'm not going to be stopping the Miraculous content. When it comes to Miraculous, I'm going to be posting the tutorials for uh, the Snake Miraculous is going to be coming this week or the next week because I'm working on it at this moment. And also the Cat Noir Ring will also be coming up. Other Miraculous videos that I'm going to be making are some of the Kwamis and some of the props from the show, like Marinette's Purse. Right now, the videos that I'm definitely putting out for Miraculous are two, and this is the Snake Miraculous, and it's the Dusu Kwami Dusu DIY as a plusy. These are the two tutorials that I'm definitely posting when it comes to Miraculous. Also, I'm going to be continuing my Azure Lane content, which, as you can see, I'm playing on the background <laughs> on this video. Uh, I love Azure Lane, uh, it's a great game, and if you haven't noticed uh, on my channel, I'm a cosplayer and I already have two full cosplay tutorials up. I'm going to be making some cosplay and game related content to Azure Lane. I will be uh, having one cosplay tutorial from Azure Lane, it's going to be one of Prince Zoygen's uh, uh, skins, the one on your screen. And I'm also going to be having a Belfast skit with my commander boyfriend. Love you so much. Shout out to my boyfriend. <laughs> and also... Hmm, what can I do? Do you want to see my boyfriend? I don't know. I don't know if you would be interested in that. But, I mean, we're going to make a skit together for the channel. So if you're interested, leave some questions for him. I don't know. <laughs> um, also, extra content I'm working right now. I recently got into a show called Star vs. the Forces of Evil. I know this is kind of a dead fandom and I'm really late to the party. <laughs> um, but what interests me from this show and is going to be related to the channel are two things. I like the queens, I like the book, and I like the wands. So right now in front of me I have the first win wind <laughs> the first <laughs> wand of the first queen of Muni. This one on your screen right now that I will be having a tutorial on, I will be making this. It's almost ready and it will be coming out the next two or three weeks as well, along with the Snake Miraculous. Um, I also want to make two more ones. I want to make Moon Butterflies wand, one of my most delicate, beautiful ones, and Estrella Butterflies wand, which I also really like because, you know, artists. <laughs> so these are the projects that I'm currently working on. To sum up, I'm going to be posting more Miraculous content. I'm going to be posting some extra Azure Lane content, mostly related to cosplay and also some gameplay. And I'm also going to be posting some Star vs. the Forces of Evil content and, you know, whatever really comes to my mind, because I'm an unexpected person. I get passionate about a lot of things and I want to do all of them, and I will in this channel. <laughs> but don't worry, the Miraculous content is not stopping, because I obviously love Miraculous. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this, if you've watched till the end. Wow, how can you put up with my voice so long? <laughs> uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy New Year, and I'll see you soon. Bye!